Hey, what's up guys? Dylan here, or aka Hell Mechanic Place here, today for another video on Game Frame. And today we're here again for Subnautica. The video came out one day late because I wanted to wait, see what updates come out. I do not know if the prison actually has a skin on it, the outside I mean. But there is some other updates in the lava biome and many things around us as you can see. You may notice, oh boy, the sea dragon. Oh, you may notice... Uh, like and subscribe, but uh, I don't know what to name that. There's something over there I want to check out though. Here's the new beacons as you can see they look like this now and there's the life pod It looks really cool. They're not like really annoying you and it shows how far away they are, which is really cool and We also got a base We're cool here. And we also got some in the lava cast Precursor technology Very interesting. We also got a warper warping in over there But anyways, I want to start off with the cool stuff and well the cooler stuff and then get right to the really cool stuff. So first we're gonna go to my little makeshift base over here. I just tried to make a little tiny base look pretty cool. But we got some pretty cool stuff in here I want to check out. First of all we got in here. We got a uh, McDonald's taking over our uh, little base here. And you may notice there's this fish. You may not know what it is. It's play with fish. It's a cute fish. You can play with it. That's so adorable. Like it doesn't attack you. You can just play with it. it like scratches belly and it follows you around. I don't know why. It's really glitchy. I mean, it doesn't swim in a fish tank when you put it in a fish tank. But yeah, that's one thing. Uh, cute fish. Yeah, so uh, we got another item, which is this new. It's uh, I don't even know the name of it. Let me look at the name of it quickly. A transfuser. We also got a ton of precursor keys, which you can now make them in a fabricator. I'll go show you that real quick. I don't know why it's really glitchy in here when I play with them. But all you have to do is go to personal, equipment, and down here. Once you get the... The, the blueprint for it? Yeah, right outside the gun, which it's broken into a few pieces. But then, now, we got the transfuser, which we probably want to chuck what this is. We could use on the lava larvae. Okay. What just happened? We get some? Maybe we gotta try on a smaller fish. So, no it works on some fish, and it doesn't. Oh, that, I just thought that. Right mount button sample life form DNA come here so I have to like hold you I can't get it to work oh left LMG to inject heat and resistance what is that so I just got heat resistance from something LMG E for cell. What is that? I put E and it just goes away. Huh. LMG. What is LMG? There's no button on my keyboard that says LMG. I'm probably being really stupid. Anyways, there's this. I don't know how to use it. But yeah, there's one thing. The next thing I want to check out is skeletons in the inactive lava biome and i bet you're thinking why would this ever be down here i mean a subscribe and like button down here but anyways we got a huge skeleton as you can see and it's a reaper leviathan why would this skeleton be all the way down here that's what really has me wondering why is it down here i mean 1200 meters deeper than it should be because it's normally up near the top of the water very like maybe 60 meters down from the top of the water, near the Aurora, though. And maybe, maybe, like, the highest it can go is probably 150, 100. That's about it. So that, that really has me thinking, why is it this far deep? Why is the skeleton? So probably, it probably has to do some of the story. Anyways, there's those three. And we're going to also go check in the end of the episode. I'll show you guys if there's something there. But here we go. It's the Lava Castle, as you can see. Uh, never mind, let me get closer. Yeah, Precursor Pillars, obviously. You're probably thinking, Dylan, what is this? Yeah, Castle Tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel as you saw on the right. So, you have to navigate your way throughout these caves, which I got lost about five times when I did this. So, I tried finding my way through here, which I think I'm going the right way. Yep, here we go. And in the very inside, we got a Precursor Base, another one. So, uh, it's the third one in the game at currently. I don't think this is in the full game. It's an experimental mode. But anyways, it's the thermal generator that powers all the stuff. I'm sorry, guys, if it's laggy. I don't know why it is. Probably because it's new. I really like it, though. It's really coolly designed. We can go in it currently. Oh, uh, there's warpers going around it. It's pretty good. Pretty good looking. Got all the cords going in. I think those are power cords. 
I think they're power cords. But yeah, we can currently go in here, and we instantly start walking. I really like that. I think that's really cool. And there's a reason I got all these keys, because apparently I need keys to come in here. But I think they're done with it. They all have to do is an update to come out. But it looks like we got a door right here, the PDA terminal in there, which we will check that out. Uh, I think what we want to do is check out down here for thing is a lot bigger than it looks so uncertain artifact yeah because we got a quite a few of them i made a few of them in the thing so this shuts down doesn't doesn't sound like there's sounds yet but uh i i kind of want to look around more before we really get that i think this is just a platform this is really cool though this is this is actually a pretty cool planet just to live on just for, like live in these bases because I hear there will be teleport. There might be a teleporter in this. Because the Lost River biome, I don't think you that has an entrance yet. That one. So, uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Alien thermal plant. Which we knew that. It was a thermal plant. We knew that. So, I have no data except this. By the way, I, I came to here and it says, Identify a background message being broadcast throughout the facility. This one. Uh, translation available message reads warning identified craft in orbit of this planet will be destroyed blah, 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 blah. Prevent the blah, blah, blah. probably Karar which is disease here. Anyways, let's get right to this The system all the way up. Okay, this system converts thermal energy to electric current and 90% efficiency. That's pretty good I think that's pretty good some of this energy is chemically stored on site while unknown mechanisms appear appear to be transferring most of it to remote locations elsewhere on the planet 30% stored for emergency use, 30% ground to air weapon system, we saw that. 22% uh, primary research facility, 11 secondary bio research facility, and 7% self warping quarantine enforcement units. So we've seen all of these, technically we have. So the uh, ground to air weapon system, the gun, uh, the primary research facility, we haven't really seen that in game, but we've seen concept art of it. Uh, so far, uh, we got secondary bio research facility, the one in the Lost River, and the Warpers. So this system appears to be fully automated and given current understanding of the mechanism involved, uninterruptible. Okay, so the energy is going to keep going no matter what. So facility locations have been downloaded to individual memory cards which generate HUD mounted signs. What is this? <gasps> it shows the primary research facility. No way, there's actually gonna, it's actually going to be down there. No way, it is. No way, it's going to be. That is freaking cool. It's right there. It's right there. We got to go check it out, guys. It's showing that it's there. We have a chance, guys. We have a chance that just the outside's going to be there. If the inside's going to be there. Oh, oh, more iron crystals. But they're big. They're really big. Yeah, they, they're probably going to be small. I'll just collect them for no reason. There might be a teleporter somewhere. Okay, here we go. This is probably going to be a teleporter put here. I'm not surprised to fall at all if there's a teleporter going to be put there. I really like the orange glow, though. And people said this base would be really small. Because I remember when the base was first put here, it was just a small room. With, I think, just a data pad in it. That's it. But that was just really like a beta type thing. So, we got this way to go. Let's see what else is here. I mean, I don't know what else could be here. Ooh. Oh, there's multiple entrances. There must be. That's pretty cool, though. I actually like this. Look at that. It looks all messed up. That's cool. That is actually pretty cool, because look at it. That's what it normally is. That is, that is, I don't know how, when they thought about that. That's pretty cool thinking. But anyways, let's go check this out. I mean... It'll be really cool to check out. How do I get out of here? I don't know how to get out. I'm stuck. Ooh, maybe. 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 Probably not. Okay. Um. Yeah, they don't make this very easy to get out of here. I hear the sea dragon outside. So there is multiple entrances. That's pretty cool. Because we came out of there. I mean, I like these. What I really think would be really cool if the base was resting on these, because there's pillars all the way around. That'd be pretty cool if it was resting on it. And the cords attached to it still. That'd be pretty cool. But I think I'm going to cut the video over here. Not end it, but we'll be right back, guys, to see this primary research facility. It is not much farther, 
It's right outside. I know exactly how to get to it. And, uh, yeah. So, I'll be right back, guys. When we get there. Which I kind of want to go outside. You know what? I think I'm actually going to swim there. No, I'm going to just swim there so you guys can see. There's the entrance. Near this giant thing. Like, overhang. So, I'll show you guys how to get there. We're at it. So, I'm going to increase the speed to, if I can spell speed, to 2. Because, you know, it's going to take a little bit to get there. And there will be a little lag. So, it happened to be right there. Do I, it says, like, I'm, does it say I'm there? There has to be an outside there. If there's an outside there. There has to be. But I'll show you guys how to get there. Anyways, I think we have to go to the other side of the lava castle. There is a lot of lag right now. I'm sorry about that, guys. I cannot help it. I cannot help it. Ditch the lag. But, uh, yeah. So, okay. This is exactly where I wanted to go, I think. Right here. Yep. Okay. So, somewhere in here, you're going to see a giant hole not far from the lava castle at all. So, you want to go in this hole. It's like a ton of looking entrances, but there's only one really way. One way. I think it's right. Yeah, it's right here. That's I thought. There's, it's the only one that's open. Every other one's closed. Or if another one's open, it still leads to the same area. And you go in here. Yeah, pretty wide open. Pretty self explanatory. And if you come down here in survival, I'd be careful because there's another sea dragon down. Oh, I heard about this. It's a precursor tripod. I heard about this. I don't know what they do. My game, I thought, just crashed. Okay, um. Let me speed one. There, I heard about these. They're like precursor tripods. I heard about these. They don't do. They don't sell any biome. I think they get more energy. I don't know. Oh, my game's lagged. But come on. Come on. There's nothing there. Come on, really? They're gonna tempt us that much. <sighs> I was so happy. Well, there we go. We saw the tripods. We can go look at those a little bit more. I was really excited to get down here. There's a freaking beacon. It looks like they're still terraforming. Like getting the biome ready. If you go on far enough, I think it's in the middle. You can see player biome, ALZ chamber. Yeah, prison upper room. Dang it. Ah. Uh. Let's see if they did anything to Scamper. Let's just see that quickly. Nope, they didn't. He still is normal size. Yeah. So, me, this is a pretty cool video, me personally. I really wish they added the outside, but as soon as they get the outside, I'll make, an up, I'll make a video. Yeah. They were supposed to today, actually. An update was supposed to come out today. But the precursor gun got really far delayed. But that really sucks. I was really excited for that. Because the beacon was there. Look, primary research facility beacon. It's right friggin' there. And it didn't show up. They're probably still working on the thermal generator or the inside of the go uh, Lost River. My game almost crashed. But, uh, I think this is it. But, uh, tripod right here. Got this power cord as usual. Maybe just do, uh, there's three. I only see three. I got really excited when I saw this. Well, I only see three. And I don't think they're any different. They're pretty cool. I think they're to maybe scan the region. Did I just get pushed by you? Thank you, buddy. You don't like help? I think they're just... How about you? Can I try doing this yet? Left mouse. LMG. Maybe. Come here. Come here. I can't inject them. Anyways, yeah. Here's the next one. They all look the same. Basically, it looks like a mini door. But it, stop hitting me. It is him that's hitting me. But it is pretty cool. I think it's just to scan the region. Maybe I'd scan what's going on. Oh, you know what? Their primary research base was probably right there. So it's going to be big, obviously. So maybe these were like... I don't know how to say it. Like motion detectors. So if something went by, they know something's going to happen. Like a big creature, like a sea dragon. But obviously, all of them are gone. All the precursors are probably gone. Because look at the gun. It's got moss on it. Which I don't think you guys saw that. There's like weeds hanging from it. But yeah. Uh, that's this. I'm actually going to go check out the Lost River base real quick. So I'll be right back, guys. See, if it's got anything, I'll do my outro there anyways. If it's got nothing inside of it, then yeah. Sorry, guys. 
It, it made sense that they would actually do something to it. But we'll be right back, guys, at the Lost River Base. And I'm back. Uh, we're at the Lost River Base. Yeah, as you can tell. Uh, there's, I got good news and bad news. Yeah, uh, 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 I got good news and bad news. Uh, I, yeah, so the good news is there is an inside. I checked. I got sad because the opening up there looked like there wasn't. I just want to check with this. Okay, random bones. Exactly what I thought. But that opening is not the only opening. There's another opening. We got to go around. Where's it say I am right now? Got to go around and you guys see this. Look at this, it's open, and the bad news, not everything is textured, so, yee, so as you can tell, this place isn't textured at all, but it looks like there's gonna be, like, holding rooms, probably where the specimens were, ooh, nice, we'll probably want this, alien research data, okay, it's thermal, we got the thermal... Okay, signal for alien thermal plant, to, like told me. Oh, we got, uh, yeah, I got the thermal plant. We'll read any everything in a second. What's this? What is this? Might be glass, maybe? That probably is glass. I expect there to be water in here. That's cool. Tables. Or data terminal. Oh, maybe the glass goes outside. Where does that go? Where is this? What is that? What the heck is that thing? Okay. Um, this is glass. They're showing to an aquarium. What is that thing? What are you? Because I saw like the. These look like, uh. Blood vines. Uh. Like the. I forgot their names. Okay, there's an opening into there. I would have saw it anyways. What is this thing? Okay. Let me get out of free cam. Why am I in here? Okay, it's the basement mode, yeah. Okay. So I got you. I think I got multiple signals. No, I didn't. Okay, that's very surprising. We got another TV looking thing. We'll definitely go check that out in a second. Okay, specimen analyzer probably. Who are these? Damage report. Ooh. Let's go check this out. What is this? What are you? I can go inside of you. It's a giant playground. What is this? It's huge. I'm scared because that's a new creature, probably. Oh, back inside. Back inside. Okay. So that is something we probably never want to mess with. Yeah. Hopefully we don't. I mean, it might be something big like the gasopod. That's good. Let's see what we got here. I mean, I didn't see anything behind this. Okay, it's gonna be something small, probably, like just fishies. Like small fishies. I need a warp up. Oh, it's an infected, uh, spiny hole. That's what it was. Right there. But I think we got everything in this base. Yup. So, that green cube. What's over here? I just saw something. Like that. Something in here? Okay, just a little tiny thing. What is that? That's really, I'm wondering what that is. It's kind of scaring me. But anyways, there's the base. Now let's read these three. While the warper just drifts past us. Okay. Uh. Yeah, signal. Got the signal. Okay. Alien thermal plant. Alien research data. This device appears to hold... I clicked on the wrong one. This device appears to hold alien research data. It seems that the alien civilization was facing a mass extinction event brought on by the bacterium. They established this facility to study the infection and possibly cures in seclusion. So, it seems like all these precursor things was kind of like human race, I guess, at the time. But they all died from Karar, the, the disease. So, of the species on record, only one survived infection with the bacterium. The closest translation of their symbol for the specimen would be Emperor. <gasps> See Emperor. Okay, here we go. Confirmed. Okay, um, 
For some reason, this facility was insignificant to study the Emperor specimen, and it was instead contained with a purpose-built facility elsewhere around the planet, because it, it's supposed to be huge. It's the Emperor. So, yeah. While it is unlikely that the specimen in question is still contained within the facility, it is possible that alien researchers left behind the information relating to the cure they were seeking. References to the Emperor containment facility in the data are scarce, but its location is suggested to be somewhere within... Somewhere with volcanic activity at depth of approximately 1,200 meters. Awesome. That's really cool. So, I'll read this, then damage report. So, there's Sea Emperor, and at the same time, the Sea Emperor might not be there, but it is rumored that Sea Emperor... It's been rumored, like, there's going to be an animation for the Sea Emperor already there. So, bacteria... Bacterial mechanisms attached to attaches to health, healthy living cells and mutates the basic genetic structure. Symptoms: Stage one, none. Stage two, gradual immune system failure. Stage three, unpredictable. Alert. Al stage three, voice cracks. Uh, <laughs> unpredictable alterations to biological structure. Stage four, complete shutdown of executive function. Firm death so far, 143 billion. Treatment procedure unknown. So probably there's a lot of things dead. So yeah. So oh boy, here we go. Um Yeah. So there's that. I mean, we're gonna probably die. So damage report, massive okay, of the Lost River base, that's why I destroyed. Massive damage recorded in life form containment unit seven. Leviathan. Sea Dragon Leviathan, maybe? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Structural integrity compromise. Immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. Three hundred and fourteen specimens destroyed destroyed. One specimen unaccounted for. Okay, so there's one still alive, possibly the sea dragon. Planetary quarantine protocol initiated a warning infected individuals may not leave the planet Interface with other facilities weapon platform up there power plant down there uh, Primary containment facility down there So yeah There is that I'm getting there. Yeah, so we got both of them. I really like that. I like that. I like the new pictures and uh, data bank uh, beacon ping manager. Yes, I ain't talked about this yet, but you can change the color of what the thing looks like. So just make these random. Uh, I can make it yellow. Yeah, look. That one's green. Those ones are totally different colors. And don't forget to like and subscribe, by the way. Yeah, but um, that was a ton of crazy stuff that all helped the story a lot. And I cannot wait for this game to come out. If you want to check the full playthrough of the game, currently, right now, in its state, go check out my channel, Home Candle Plays. Yeah, link in the description. Or... It's gonna when the full game comes out, I'm gonna do a game a walkthrough on my channel, or maybe on this channel and my channel. I'll upload them both. Maybe I don't know. It depends what you guys want. Five likes and, may, and like, tell me in the comments section below. I'll definitely do it if you guys want me to. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome Sonatical warping. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. We did a lot of stuff this episode. Lost River, uh, thermal plant. Checked if the the. Precursor or tripods, yep. Uh, the beacons, the cute fish, Leviathan uh, skeleton, and uh, Reaper Leviathan, and the Sea Dragon Leviathan, and everything's going crazy. I don't even know. But, uh, yeah. So, what was the one thing we did? The primary research facility. Yeah, we checked that that was there, and it's not. I'll be checking every day now to see if it's there, because it is now talking about it a lot more. And check if this is fully detailed, because I cannot wait till this is fully detailed and see what the hell that big fish is. Yeah, but anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye, guys. Bye. Peace.